2024. Welcome to having the best time of your life for 2024. So today for my first video, guys, we are going to delve into dissecting. Ignore the nails. Don't dissect these nails. So we are going to dissect. We are going to assess or reassess. We are going to break down. We are going to dive. Some may not be a deep dive because trust me, for some brands that we are going to look at, you don't even have to deep dive to see that what lies beneath is not even worth <laughs> it's not even worth going deeper because you can already tell from the surface itself as you know on this channel sustainability matters and we embrace imperfect sustainability so i'll leave you some tips on how you could be imperfect to be sustainable so today we are going to look at urban revival urban revival came on my radar i think last year when so many top tier influencers started really raging and crediting urban revival with such great quality items and it piqued my interest so i really wanted to just cut it, slash it, look at it. Is it really that great? So, I took a look. And when I did, hmm. The first thing it boldly claims to be, it's trendy and it's runaway inspired. And it boldly claims to produce over 10 thousand new items oh my god is it per year you do the math it's definitely fast fashion to the core so for me when i hear influencers say that oh it's such a great quality item that the material is so great it's really sturdy it's amazing guys what is good quality material for you for me my mantra has always been fabric fit style so for me natural fibers they are my thing I try my very best to avoid mixed fibers yeah Unless, of course, it's mixed all natural, baby. Unless it's all natural. Just kidding. But, yes, yes, I am actually all natural except for my makeup. And, yeah, I tattooed my brows ages ago when I was 30 years old. That's a million. Anyway, that's not what the focus is. But what i'm trying to say to you your definition of quality sometimes need to be re-examined because when i look at urban revival most of its items are either 100 percent polyester or 93 53 regardless most of the items on that website it's polyester or polyester blend that's not good material. You could try your best to twist it however way you could, but polyester is not a great material. It's just not. For me, it doesn't, it doesn't vibe. It's, it's one of the most polluting and it's disgusting. It, it keeps odor. It makes you sweat like crazy. It's not biodegradable it takes over 450 years how is that a great material seriously and even at the surface again 
Let's zero in on the word runway inspired. Why do we not name it as it is? When you are telling me it's runway inspired, it's masking what you're actually doing. You're replicating what's on the runway and selling it. Yeah, are they stealing it? No, no, you won't say steal. Okay, okay. We could live with that. It's not stealing. It's duplicating, right? Okay. If that makes you sleep better at night, for sure. But from what I could see, take it as you wish. Urban Revival, for me personally, it's not a brand that has excellent quality items. I don't even think I saw anything with respect to its social responsibility. It's just simply fast fashion with fast fashion materials that do not necessarily last. Even some of the most recognizable inspired designer items that you see, for example, those cape sweaters, they're going to start peeling on you like within the first wash or the second wear or third wear. I don't care how many ways you got. All I know, you're not going to get even 30 ways before it starts peeling because of the material. Material is everything. Don't come bringing something to my attention telling me it's so great because you're being sponsored that is awesome. There is a denim outfit that I absolutely like. For some, it's definitely trendy. But as I've said in the past, you could turn your trendy items into your classic because it's you. Don't let anyone tell you what should be your classic. So, with that said, I looked on Good On You, which is the company with an app that rates companies, and Urban Revival is not even on its radar. And it has over 360 stores worldwide. It's quite a very popular store. But we were never aware of it until all of our top tier content creators started shouting from the mountain top how great the Chanel jackets are, how great and heavy and sturdy and beautifully made and you should see the accessories, the buttons, you should reach in and touch it. If I could only convince you, if there's an app that would allow you to touch this material, you would be sure to buy it. And yes, many of you are influenced. You're buying. I don't blame you. They are doing an excellent job selling this company that, for me, if I were to give it a rating, I would say it's, it's a two. It's not doing anything based on my observation, sustainability wise or social responsibility. As a fast fashion brand, I could imagine the labor issues, which I hope doesn't exist, but Fast fashion brands are famous for having, having very high turnaround and for that, the workers often the brunt of all that demand that is created for items such as these. I hope that you have learned something. 
I hope you get to consider materials instead of style and instead of what you see on your favorite influence. Don't make 2024 a year where you are willfully blind. Don't. Pay attention. Stay woke. And if there's one simple thing that you could do from the list that I have shown you in terms of the, my sustainability tips, consider those things when you're buying. And you'll be fine. So I hope that you have learned something and I hope to continue to look at other companies that influencers are bringing on your radar and we could dissect, we could tear them apart and give you the correct information that you need to make well-informed decisions. I love you guys. That's why I'm doing this. And I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah. Let's make 2024 one of the best on this channel. Love you guys and I'll see you soon.